Because this creature's essentially become Blastoise. Look, this is what Blastoise would look like in real life. You get that, right? It'd be a giant ass turtle with a cannon on its back. Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, checking out some new epic new shiz that I've just been discovering while playing around with this Hybrids Dinos mod that is pretty damn cool and definitely gives me a lot of hope for the future of this mod because I kind of thought they were just going to be, you know, just dinosaur combinations of each other, not actually take and like hold all traits from each combination that's made into this mecha hybrid. I don't know why I threw mecha in there. The sentence was perfect before I made it a robot, which obviously isn't a thing. Then I just want to take a look to see if there's been any updates to this other mod that's adding all other kinds of crazy shiz. It's just a crazy shiz day is what's going on. It's a beautiful thing. Smack that like button for crazy shiz. You guys gotta like my little use of like profanity saving right there with shiz. Otherwise I would have just said shit like 10 times. Alright, so the only two in this mod... Oh, thank god it's down there in my inventory. You scared me there, little buddy. It's the Spider Rex and the Moza. The Moza Rex. It looks like we're just knocking out Rex combinations first. All of you guys have already seen both of these creatures. The Rex, now you can see, they're, it looks like they're each, now they each have two traits from their initial creature. Which, I'm, I'm wondering if that's, I don't even know what other combinations you can make to this. Actually, maybe those little back ankle scales that a Spino has. Ooh, actually, let me get one in here. Alright, see, so if we're taking a look at these two, I think that's, what do you guys think down below? Is this the best way to be going about this? I feel like it's absolutely perfect. I'm just wondering what else we could take. Because I feel like one of the main traits behind a Spino was all these tiny little scales and spikes all over it. Which I feel like would hopefully... It's all about how you design the dinosaur's DNA, everything. I'm sure, actually, how would that work? And look, actually, you know, you can put those there. Possibly right there. And then even on the back of its little arms, just for the... For the sake of the DNA, trying to find whatever the hell an arm would be on that strand of structure. This has become gibberish. I'm I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about on, like, a DNA scale. I'm just wondering if this is complete or if this is not, because these creatures aren't. So there we have the Spino Rex, which I didn't show off the roar last time. The roar is actually not the roar is this this thing's had a crazy ass roar since it was created. This is before the, the fin was implemented. Holy crap, I just ran up the stairs because I realized I left the air conditioner on, which would leave a slight ringing in the back of the video. And I feel like I'm gonna collapse right now. I am so wildly out of shape. It's like one little flight of stairs and my lungs feel like they're gonna collapse in on themselves. Alright buddy, let's get you straightened out. So as you can see now, and this, um, I was looking at the comments on the mod page too. Holy hell, this is unnatural right here. This, like a 60 year old man, a 60 year old, old obese man. These little, um, blendings, this is everyone's like only complaint so far. These like little blendings right here, obviously between the added body parts. The spine is just about perfect, it's mostly with like the heads. And with the tails added, because as you can see, the Moza Rex now has the Moza tail, which I freaking love. This is what I was saying, like, they each have two qualities from the, two, like, from the other dinosaur in the addition. But I wonder if they're gonna add any more. I don't even know what else they could add to a Moza. Maybe some flippers, but that shit wouldn't make much sense. I think scales on the Spino Rex is the only thing that would make sense. I do love how they added the tail, though. It makes it much better. And yes, they are trying to work on a way to get this little blending issue solved. Which, by the way, I'm not even sure how the hell they're gonna do, because there's so many perfect mods in the ARC just modded community that have- there's so many perfect mods that have this little blending issue. It's just- it's just, it's just some black magic stuff. They'd have to, like, retexture the dinosaur, I feel like. But either way, a lot of people were concerned that they were just going to be dinosaur- you know, just like a weird-headed- God, I love those roars so much. A weird-headed T-Rex, you know what I mean? Kind of just like, well, I was saying, it looked like a giant-ass compi for the most part. Ooh, it's so much smaller than this one. The Spino Rex is like the biggest son of a bitch on the planet. That's definitely gonna be a land alpha right there. Well, of course. I mean, unless the Giga somehow takes part in any of this hybrid genetic mutation shizzle, and then it will dominate. Actually, which one's taller? So clearly this one, obvi I mean, which one's, ob obviously this one's taller. So this is the average side scaling for a Rex, a Spino, a sp and then the Spino Rex. Okay, so obviously, as we all know, the Rex is taller than the Spino, but the spine of the Spino is taller than the Rex. That was figured out the day the Spino was released. That's what everyone was curious about. But look at the Spino Rex just towering over all of them, dude. That's beautiful. That's like, that's awesome right there. The creature's must be much bigger and much more hostile. Much more of a fighting chance of dominating. This health buff is absolutely insane, though. I think that's... Might, may, might maybe be the only flaw of might maybe be, be. <laughs> I mean, you are level 42, you are level 300. That would obviously make a hell of an addition. We've all seen what 300 can do. I just love that, man. This creature's gonna be like the beast of the land until the Giga's implemented into something. But yes, a lot of people, what I was kind of saying 10 minutes ago before I droned on about this awesomeness, 
as a lot of people were concerned they were just going to be slight attachments of the creatures and not really get any of the abilities. Whereas this creature, being a Moza Rex, can just about swim like a Moza. It's actually perfect. Like it's gonna make it's gonna make these creatures all so much more fun to play with. Like this is on land, it's essentially a T-Rex, but it's in the water. Actually, I wanna have these two fights. I wanna have a Spino Rex and a uh, a Moza Rex fight each other, see which one's stronger. But look, once you get in the water, you're just essentially a Moza. It's, it's freaking awesome. Really make me wonder the other abilities, like any kind of Dilo Raptor or anything, it'd be a raptor that could spit. So many things like that, once they combine abilities, it just gets so much more fun. This thing is seriously faster than anything anything else in the water. I'm sure there will be some other genetic combinations that'll be nuts. Believe that. And then you just on land, because the creature you chose to take out that day is a freaking hybrid combination between a Rex and a Moza. That is so cool. By the way, my favorite recommendation for a creature that should be added so far. I can't remember who said it. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't screenshot it. It was on my phone and I was driving when I saw you comment it. So I get all notifications to my phone. I see everything. And it was a, a Dilo and a Dodo. A dildo. We could essentially have a dildo in this game. It would just be so horrifying running from a uh, Alpha Tribe. I guess Alpha Tribes are always a pain in the ass to run from. But if they're just see they're using this kind of creature and you're like, the second we get into open water, we're fine. It's a T-Rex. Oh shit, it's a Moserex. And then that's your ass right there. It's beautiful. Or honestly, the perfect creature to just have an underwater aquatic base. That's how I would use this, definitely. Underwater. Is there any other kind of aquatic base? And aqua some kind of subterranean base. And we just, when we go out and attack, we just unleash the Moserexes. They're, they're a freaking warrior in the seas and a warrior on the land. It's perfect. Ooh, now I can't wait to see what kind of flying slash land creatures are created. God, look at the size of that beast over those ninnies. Evolution, man. I wonder who, I feel like the Spino Rex better win this. Look at those dope little spikes on its head I didn't even notice before. It's definitely got a lot more of a Spino face than a real, I guess it is just a complete Spino face. <laughs> that's, that's a little silly on my part. Obviously, I thought there were some different things going on top of the head before they disconnected between like the head and the body. But there wasn't and I'm silly. I just love where Ark's headed. It's so beautiful. You guys have no idea too. There's this mod on the way. This mod dev keeps messaging me about every time it updates and it's just gonna make the world so much better. We won't even be able to test sample it like YouTubers or whatever for like a few weeks, but it's, oh, it's just gonna be amazing. I just realized, what if these creatures can't do damage to each other yet? That would be mighty silly. I mean, they're biting. I'm seeing blood. That, that should mean damage indication. They do have just about infinite amount of health though. 20 bucks on the Spinal Rex. I'll bet all of you, all thousands of people who watch this, $20 each. I'll make millions. At a certain point though, we gotta be like, okay, it's not damage indication. I mean, there's no damage indication or it's just, do they just have too much health? Why can it not view your stats? I knew I should have force tamed you. I just wanted the levels to be equal. Holy shit, they definitely do damage. Oh my God, he just completely obliterated me. Holy crap. I was just walking around, you know, innocent as always. All right, round two with you two. At least they know, at least we know they do damage. I kind of already knew that. I just want to make sure there was nothing going wrong here with these two. God, man, if they, if they ever do finish out that neck blending, which would be a straight up saints work. I can't even tell you guys how many mods I've seen fail before. This would be so just amazing. It'd be its own game for the most part. It's been initiated. Moses still roaring. I feel like if this fight was going down in the water, I, even though I know the Spino Rex could actually swim very well as well. They both happen to be combined with semi, well, fully aquatic and semi-aquatic creatures. Because the Spino is also a very good swimmer too, and so is the Spino Rex because of that ability. It's like the Rex has officially, I just love how big that thing is, dude. It just trumps over everything. And I don't mean that in a political way. It's actually an expression, like to trump over something is to be bigger. I think the expression was made because of him, but now it's just a word I use. I keep politics out of my videos. At least I did until a minute ago. All right, I just, I, we're like a minute later in the fights. A little worried, I don't see any damage. Actually, that little slight red red drop above his butt seems good. There's, there's, there's definitely damage indication on both sides. I'm excited to see who wins this, dude. It's like straight up Clash of the Titans around here. All right, we're like two minutes later in the fights. It's not looking too good for the Spinal Rex. I'm actually worried. I was, I had very high hopes for that creature. It was gonna be my everything. Better win this fight. I'm not loving it anymore. <laughs> yes, I will be a horrible parent. Damn it, dude, I'm seeing way more damage indication on this guy. What, what is going on here? 
Come on, you control the land, he controls the ocean. You're on land. Seriously though, once the Rex is combined, these little details about land and ocean make no difference whatsoever. It's actually kind of fucked. Come on, buddy! See, the Mose is low blowing. He's biting at his toes. I should have laid out some rules first. It's not okay. You don't touch a man's toes. That's just, that's just not how we do things around here. Come on, buddy. Come on, Spino Rex. Pull through in the end. Oh my god, your ass is so grass. It's not even... I was hoping with these new upgrades, you know, with the spine, he's got more agility or something. But it's not looking that way. Jesus Christ! To think you were like the same creature at one point. That's so trippy. Life finds a way. <laughs> no! He's so close to being dead. Oh, God! Son of a bitch! I would have just lost like $30,000 over that bet. And I would have considered it the safest bet ever. But that spine blow, oh, Jesus! Well, son of a bitch, you looks like you're king of the land and king of the ocean. Your mother must be so proud of you. I don't actually think there's been an upgrade with this guy yet. Well, there, there definitely should be because these things are awesome as hell too. This mod, this guy did perfectly. He did another mod that was like kind of very goofy and the creatures were a little bit too decked out and everything. But now he gets it. Because this creature's essentially become Blastoise. Look, this is what Blastoise would look like in real life. You get that, right? It'd be a giant ass turtle with a cannon on his back. Now that's how you get respect right there. Holy crap. Do you have those abilities? I don't see any lasers coming. Where's the, where's the explosives, dog? Just goes right for my creature. Oh yeah, because we're invisible. How foolish of me. Yes, yes. See, sorry, this started up though, isn't it? Oh, there we go, now we're cooking. Now, yeah, that, that freaking, are you serious? That creature was just dropped in two hits? That's malarkey. This is the most OP SOB in the world right here. It's overpowered son of a bitch. I'm not really sure which one I like more though. These, out of all these creatures in this mod, these are the only two I'm gonna show you guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure a few people have already, people have already uploaded videos of it. These are just my two favorite in the mod. The rest, it's pretty much a brood mother, shoots lasers, a giant megapithecus that slams his fists. But nothing gets me going quite as much as a Blastoise turtle or a freaking Shrike that shoots laser beams off its face. Activate the lasers, buddy. No metal, my left nuts. Oh, metal ingots. I put ingots, not actual metal. That was on me. This Shrike and I have so much in common. All we want to do is eat and listen to metal. All right, buddy. Let it rip. See, that's also eat. Jesus Christ. That sucker being placed out in front of you, that's beautiful. I don't know. Comment down below which one you guys like more, to be honest. Because I might do something with them later in the future. The trike that shoots freaking plasma beams from its horn. Or the freaking Blastoise with the Hydro Cannon. Which I'm now wishing was a Hydro Cannon now that I think about it. How can it not be a giant water cannon? That is so heartbreaking. This guy is cool though. He glows from his tail. He glows from his horns. From the little tip of his horn. I assume, yeah, look at that health. I was gonna say, I assume they're just about godly strong, but no, 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 not that, not that godly strong. They, they, not, not, not that godly. These creatures are super OP too, though. Everything in here is just so damn strong. Vanilla creatures just don't stand a chance. All right, what do we have? Like four Spino Rexes here right now. Look at the turtle going in there. He's good, he's good people. The turtle shoots his own little paw, but it's, look at that trick. Just freaking obliterate everybody, dude. Holy crap. Wow, it also uses up an insane amount of metal per blast though, so it's not like the most OP thing in the world. It actually, you gotta keep a lot of resources in that shit. The turtle is just spraying. He doesn't give a damn about anything. Look at that cannon just wrecking everyone so beautifully. It's so crazy how this modded tech creature has, now, as in my book, has, so, has definitely exceeded all capabilities of other tech creatures. And what do they have? A little laser beam on their head to shoot at stuff? That's adorable and all, I'm sure. But how is it, does it have a giant goddamn cannon on its back that can obliterate creatures with pretty much just unfair amounts of health? Actually, I can understand why this wouldn't be in the actual, like, arc updates in an SPM mod. It doesn't have to be so godly OP, but it could have cannons. Why can one of them, like the tech argent, the tech, one of them should have an option where you get to just see below them too, like belly view, and you just get to drop bombs wherever's beneath you. That's... Now that would have been amazing, oh my god. So yeah, if you had a good time watching today and you enjoyed these mods, make sure to smack that like button. Look at that little energy ball inside the canyon. Canyon, I mean, not canyon. And I'll make sure to cover the mods even more. So yeah, have a nice day, smack that like button, and peace! Yeah.